kayak jet propelled kayaking yesterday and uh i took it out for about an hour i found one arrowhead i didn't put it in my last video i just did a short one last night um i'll put it in one of my other arrowhead hunting videos i just put one on like this a video ago so i'll save that clip back i'm gonna go in here and try to find marbles you can see the ground back there there was puddles of water it must have poured in the night i was so tired that i didn't even hear it i just slept all night and was oblivious to anything it's gonna be rough going down in here all this water but i'm on the side of a hill so we'll see if i can't get some marbles hopefully i can get a few nice ones later i want to dig right there i was if you go back in my videos when i was up here and got stung by them bees i was finding some really beautiful marbles not as many as over there but good ones and i probed that the other day and the bees just started coming out so i can't dig there till at least fall that stinks i'm not gonna kill the bees it's not i can come back and do it. it'll be some a place we can dig this fall we'll have something to look forward to there's nice marbles in there but i ain't getting stung up and i ain't gonna kill nothing we're gonna look down in here Later. directly behind that bush right in there is where the honey hole was at i i've dug down in here before in previous videos like a few places you can see there has to be marbles continually down this hill and i found some in here but some of this area right in here i haven't dug so i'm gonna look around in here and kind of go up that way since it's wet today and see see i got a dig hole started over there there's got to be stuff in here we're gonna look around see the same kind of bottles i was finding up there there's a, a hillbilly mountain dew break but see once i get on the side of this hill you see, well look at that no way a marble i haven't even found one yet it's not a great one but it's just a green one a common marble maybe worth 10 cents but what i was going to show you it's not a great find but it's a marble it's nice condition but what i was going to show you here is look how nice this layer looks it's dry there's the right age of bottles in it i'd say by looking at the bottles there's going to be marble kings and vitro agates and maybe the late throwaway alley agate that was in some of them collections because you got to think even if you're in 60s trash marbles had a a shelf life a kid might have kept them 10 20 years they might have had their brother's marbles or their dad's and when they got thrown away they all got thrown away together so that's you know there could be a, a thousand alley agates right in here we'll see what else i get i'll get back on my next find later folks you see the acl bottles are coming out of here too just like right up there where i was finding all them marbles look at this one kind of a cool looking bottle it says nesbits of california it's perfect and all the stuff's on and it says parkersburg west virginia here on the back and it's all there parkersburg wva huh an amazing marble i knew they were going to be here in luck this is an art deco this just came out sistersville west virginia i think these ones had a paper label right in here but this one's uh it's from around world war ii or right before like 38 to 45 on this bottle and it would have said frank keeney and sons like kuka you can see some of it it will say property of kuka cola bottling works over on this side sistersville west virginia and i think it says keeney and son maybe on it it's too bad on that but look at this you see it oh fakes it's like a blue slag these are the kind of marbles i want to be in that first one was i was thinking marble king but this is an alley or something you see it it's right here oh man just look at that if this ain't broke up and cracked it's gonna be a day maker look at oh man it looks good hold on yeah i'll just show you this real quick i'll show it with a good camera it's a smoker look at that baby blue or you know kind of baby blue cobalt blue more like with a white swirl it's just awesome oh man folks Wait a, show it next with a real good here's this cobalt marble it's really nice it's the sun's not up but you can see how translucent it is it's real cobalt blue with that white swirl that's a beauty later i would like to see in this bottle it's kind of honey colored glass that's odd 
paneled. It's machine made, I think, but it looks old. Later. Ridiculous on these Anto windshield wiping solvents. Look at this. These, this is at least a $20 bottle. It's got the price tag on it. This is like, I haven't filmed a few. I'd say half a dozen in a week. It's 20 bucks. Every time on eBay, I could put this on for $19.99, cleaned up with a new cap, and it's $20 just as quick as I can list. Later. Yeah, this would have been a nice little find too. I like stuff like this. This is most likely a toothpick holder for a table. And it would have most likely probably had something advertising right in here, like a little restaurant on the Ohio River or something. That's a shame. Play that. Yeah, there's a, a McCoy pottery planter you can use for a plant. That would have been nice to find that. Been a nice piece. Play that. Weird. I kind of looked at it down here. It looks like a cat eye. Doesn't look as nice as that last one. But it's what this is what I'm looking for. Oh, it's beautiful, way better than expected. It is a cat eye, and it's one of the amazing. I can film this one with a good camera, too. That's what I'm shooting for, marbles that are nice enough condition. Hopefully, this doesn't have cracks. Let me wipe it off and look at it, but look at this. It's got peach, orange, chartreuse green, red in this side, and other colors, white. Oh, that's beautiful. Hold on. Yeah, right there. I'll leave this on it till I get it. Well... I don't think it matters. That's rust staining. You can see, watch. See the rust staining on it? It won't come off. That's adhered to the glass. And that's one thing when you're digging marbles, a lot of them are going to have that. What I do is soak them in water and then use a little wire brush from Ace Hardware. You can see it there clearly on it. Yeah, I thought this one was a yellow cat eye. Just a solid yellow one which are common. This one's better. These multiple colors. It's got lavender down in there too. That's pretty, huh? Nice condition too. Lay that. Look how wet it is. And you know, when I walked in here, I'm serious, I just went up to get my bag to bring down here where I'm digging. Um, I didn't think I was gonna find anything. I just get up and do this every day. And I'll be honest with you. Some of the days like today where I think I'm not, I have no chance. I have the best days that are a real good day that I'm so glad I came out of the house. So just go every day, folks. I'm serious. It'll pay off for you. Even in the rain, take a tarp, cover your holes. You're going to find stuff. But you know, too, this is a new hole. I've been digging, you know, it's 20 yards up there. Look at all this digging I gotta do. The dump goes down there for so far, I don't even know. Look at all of these sections I have to do. Oh man, fix, there's a lot of marbles here. I mean, there's thousands right here. I wish I could just get to them all right now. But as you see these marbles, I was raking this stuff out of here real fast and I'm definitely back on marbles just by moving holes on a wet day. And I look for this one for 10 minutes and right there it is. Look, there's a blue. I find not a few of these a day hundreds of them actually i could there's one right there i could just walk around and pick up a hundred of these within 25 yard diameter of me they're just everywhere but right here it's a cat eye i can tell oh it's nice um it's not as nice as that last one but it's white blue and kind of brown tips it ain't bad it's nice condition it's a frameable marble later going up the hill I got another one it's a marble king cat eye but it's real nice condition that's a big plus the marbles ain't melted and they're awesome look at that just average a quarter worth a quarter but not all of them are worth a quarter we're looking for the nice ones later I see these bottles a lot but none of them have caps I'm in a really preserved layer. Look at that. I wiped that cap off. These bottles always look older when you see them. They look like a paneled medicine, but it's some kind of screw top thing from like the 40s or 50s. But there's what the caps look like on them. I'm gonna take that cap and use it on another bottle. That's a good one. See that cap I just found? Put it on this hand key thing. It matches the graphics. And this had a tin cap on it like this. That bottle's worth 20 bucks now cleaned up for sure. That's $20 on eBay, plus shipping charges and maybe 25, 100%.
I always wondered what these were and I think these are little glass bird feeders. They're kind of cool. I'm going to take that. This is kind of cool. You know, not, you know, it's not hundreds, hundred years old or nothing. It's like probably from the 40s, but it's got a cool scene on it, like a snow scene with like a colonial home. It's got a mark. It's a shame that's all bust up. Later. Another marble here. There's a nice layer of trash. I'm only going to find a few more. Well, there's a... That's nah, just a 7-up and it's broke. I thought that could have been one of the Mountain Dews. you got to look at everything. Here's another marble right out of this wall. I'm going to find a few more. See, it's nice. But it's just an average marble. This is an average one. I'm looking for them swirls and stuff and they're here. We found them. That one cat I was beautiful to. So, uh, this would have even been different. That's like that bisque like ceramic stuff it's a doll head you know that would have been nice to find it's just a little too damaged to take i can't take all this stuff it's kind of cool but you know even that bottle i put the lid on i don't want that i'm just taking it because somebody will now getting this hole wide and there's still marbles coming there's another one just another common one but i got a few good ones here blue cat well it's got that green color in it too blue and like green right in the middle but, uh, do you see that it fell right out up under them roots it looks like some kind of little dog figurine let's hope this is whole this will look great in the cover room it just is just how it landed it fell right out of there let's see oh fix it's awesome that's cool there's no damage look Yeah, the ear's not broke. You can see that's just how it's made. Oh, this is awesome. It looks like a German Shepherd, maybe. Or maybe it's a little dog, but it kind of looks... Well, I don't know. That's awesome. I wonder what that... If it's a pencil holder or... But that's a nice piece for my collection. I'll, I'm having trouble with this reed. I'm trying to get in behind it, but there's another white one. It's Chinese checkers. I'll get, I'll get back in here. I'm going to find one more and go. I got another one here. I'm just a little bit off that hole I was in in my last clip. Green cat eye. Just an average one. But it fell right out of here immediately. But he did my closing clip and was going to leave. And thought, ah, it's dried. It's, you know, even a few hours on a hill like this. It was wet when I walked in. The water drains off quick. And it's 95 degrees. You can see it's, I'm down in here. Man, I got a good one. It might be one of these Jackson Marble companies. Or maybe not. Oh man. This might be a pot it's a swirl. It's a black and white one, it looks like. But it might be a Jackson. I think that's clear base. Hold on. Alright, I'd say this this sure looks like a Jackson Marble Company, Pennsboro, West Virginia. Made for only two years in the mid 40s. Um Wow, that is beautiful. It's like a chocolate clear base with a white swirl. That's a day maker. I'll show you the frame of marbles I'm working on at the end. I'm going to go for one more here. There's a huge jar or something right there. It's probably nothing great because I'm in like, I'd say the trash I'm digging in right now is a 1950 to 58. And these marbles are in it. It's the golden age of marbles. It's beautiful, folks. That's a day maker. Later. All right, here's this marble from the previous clip. It's kind of a, a chocolate clear base with a white swirl. And I'd say this is Jackson Marble Company. They were made in like 1945 and 1946, and the company made like 6 million marbles. You can read about the company on marblecollecting.com. It's a great site to look at marbles and the factories and what they made. That's a beauty, folks. That's a day maker. Let us. Uh, this just came out of there a little bit ago. It's one of the diamond coke cans. You know, in nice, decent condition, pool tab like this, this for a display piece, it's worth 20 bucks. You can get 20 bucks for that all day long. It's a shame that's ruined. I would have liked to have had that. You know, you never see that in an antique store. Everybody threw this stuff away. This, The Sprite cans of this age can go for $100 on eBay. Look this stuff up. I look it all up. That's how I know what everything is. Every little thing I see, I try to find out what it is. Let's see, you got a big 16th ounce one pint Pepsi. Just perfect. And this is right over the hill where I found them Pepsi bottles like this with marbles inside the bottle. A marble will fit 
right in that. Some kid had their marbles in the bottles. I found two of them. Hopefully we can get another one of them. There's marbles all over the place here. I'm glad I stayed. They're in this layer right here above this layer. I got another one right here. You can see it looks good. It's got blue and white swirls. Hey, let's hope this is an alley and not a marble king. Ugh. Oh. This might be a Marble King, but man, it's like an awesome one. This is nice. This is an alley, I think. I think it's it's some kind of swirl marble. You can see it. Let me wipe it off a little more. Yeah, this is some kind of swirl. Look at it. I thought it was a Marble King. It kind of looked like Marble King blue, but that's some kind of swirl. See it? That's nice. Real tight lines in it real nice condition and condition is everything on marbles if this would have play dings on it i'd throw it over the hill this is a frameable good marble worth money but here's this blue marble i thought was a marble king that's some kind of swirl it's you see it's pretty nice it ain't bad still got a little dirt right in there i gotta shake it some more but it's nice condition that's pretty let it really find the marbles folks i'm glad i came on this layer with this trashy stuff in it's where all of them's falling out. And look what just fell out. These are the kind of marbles I am looking for. This is a beautiful alley agate. All right. Let me, I'll just show it with a good camera. It's a real beautiful clear base green. This is a weird alley. Look at that like manufacturing. That's from manuf the manufacturing process. That like veneered color, it's almost got a metallic flake to it, like adventuring on that green swirl. That's kind of nice. Look right there. Later. There's marbles coming out of here consistently. And I'll show you here. They're coming from right up in here. See all this? There's a big, probably a whiskey or something. I'll get this white stuff out next time I come. Look at all them huge. Look at that huge thing sticking out there. There's marbles all in here. All in here. So this is where I'm going to start digging in my next video. So you have something to look forward to. I got to get this out and this. Because that's above me and I can't be reaching back in that hole. That falls, breaks your arms, breaks your legs, or worst case scenario, kills you. That could be big enough to kill you. And so could that one. Pin you here, you know, it'd be a bad way to go. I'll get them out with the spud bar when I come, and we're going to go right this way. Those are the marbles I'm looking for, them swirls and stuff. Later. Thanks for watching. All right, it's giveaway winter time. I'm going to do one giveaway in this one, and like you know, one in the next one. I got active giveaways, and we'll be doing another giveaway for awesome stuff like this too. But all of these amazing vintage marbles, look at some of them. Jeez, you saw them in the giveaway video. I got the video URL in right here. Filter duplicate users. See how many people. Man, people wanted these 324 unique comments. And there was, you know, a lot of people tr did tw two or three comments. It was way more than that. Okay. Here we go. For the vintage marbles. The Air Ahead Reapers. Awesome giveaway again. Tell Mr. Doug... Old boy from Mississippi said, hey, next time you see him. I will, man. You won, buddy. You comment a lot. I don't... Wow, dude. I just was talking to you the other day. Congratulations, man. Look at these beauties. Congratulations, dude. I'm happy you won. That's awesome. Later.